Well, the IRS is urging millions of taxpayers to wait on filing their returns. KSBY news reporter Austin Herbaugh joins us live in the studio with a reaction and also advice from experts. Austin? It's only February and it's already a confusing tax season for Californians who received inflation relief payments. So there's a lot of confusion for taxpayers filing their tax returns. If you received an inflation relief payment from the state, you may want to hold off on filing your tax return and wait until the IRS issues updated guidance. I've received the check and I already filed my income tax. Many Californians are now in tax limbo. I think it is frustrating because a lot of people have already filed their taxes and now they're saying that we might have to amend them. That's going to be more work for, for the IRS. The confusion comes down to whether special payments from the state can be taxed by the federal government. The state specifically said these payments are not taxable at the state level. We don't know what the federal government's going to do. Tax experts say a delayed response from the IRS is making an already complicated process even more complicated. The problem now is the IRS has not yet issued guidance and it's very late in the tax season. Inflation relief payments between $200 and $1,050 were sent out to millions of Californians between October and January. The IRS asked taxpayers to hold off this week. Why is the IRS just doing this now? You know, I don't think they were aware of it because they weren't the ones that sent the money out. The National Association of Tax Professionals says that a flood of questions surrounding special refunds likely prompted the guidance. They don't want another influx of amended returns. Tax experts say that the IRS is trying to avoid a backlog in amendments to tax returns that can take months or even years to sift through. When you electronically file an amended return, it really isn't electronically filed. It's electronically submitted then they have to manually process it. If the IRS decides special payments do not fall under the federal income tax, then you don't have to do anything. If relief payments are taxable, then you will need to claim the money as income on your tax return, which involves filing for an amended return if you've already done your taxes. Now, experts say this will all come down to whether relief payments provided an economic benefit to taxpayers. In studio, Austin Herbaugh, KSBY News. Austin, thank you. Now the IRS is expected to release updated guidance by the end of the month.